Well, welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here with another quick video and for anyone that owns an Amazon Fire device, you know that with the past couple months they have been pushing updates like crazy. So chances are if you haven't touched your Fire Stick in the past couple days, there's a good chance there's another update there waiting for you. So in this video I want to go over six new features that's been added to the Amazon Fire device recently. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. I am going to try to keep this video short, but before we try any of these, uh, you want to go over and make sure your Fire Stick is up to date. On this video, I am using the Fire TV Stick Lite, but this should work on your Fire TV 4K, 4K Max, or any Fire TV Stick or Fire TV device that has the newest software. So to check for your update, what you're going to do is go to your settings, do that, just go all the way to the right. All right, we're going to scroll down to My Fire TV. And we're going to click on About. All right. Gives you some information there. The Fire TV Stick Lite gives you the device name, capacity, Amazon account, everything that you need to know, as well as the serial number. We're going to go down to Check for Updates. You'll see the version there. You'll see, um, you see when it was last checked. But always want to go ahead and just check it. Um, and you can see that mine is up to date. So for someone who has updates, sometimes it allows you to download, doesn't allow you to install it. If it does that, just reboot your device after you download it and it should install on reboot and just repeat the process again until you see this message right here. So the first one is gonna be advanced network information. So this is gonna come in handy. It's gonna allow you to do speed checks, it's gonna allow you to check some of your network information. That way, if you're troubleshooting, whether it's buffering, if you if you just wanna see some network information, you'll have it right there for you to check out. So to get to this, you're gonna to go to your settings again. And this time we're gonna to go to our network. We're gonna click on it. All right, so mine, I am gonna see all the networks that's available. I can see I'm connected to Mojo, but also Mojo 5G is there that's available, but it looks like the, the signal strength is a little bit better on my Mojo, which is a 2.4 gigahertz. So maybe I'll, I'll do a speed test there, then I'll try the five gigahertz and just see which one's better. Uh, further down, if you go to see all network, you can see there's some more here. Um, but those aren't mine, so I wouldn't be able to connect to them anyway. So we're gonna go back. For me, it's telling me that I'm connected to the internet, telling me I'm on my mojo, which is 2.4 gigahertz, and it tells me the last time I ran my speed test. So let's go ahead and we'll just do it again. That way you can see the process. And while we run at the bottom, it, it gives you the recommendation. So based on your speed test results, your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality without interruptions. So that's all I'm gonna be able to do anyway. This is uh, 1080p device so the speed the 37 or whatever he gave me earlier uh should be plenty um, to go by so in that speed again not great 23 uh let's go back and we'll try the mojo 5g and see if that's any better so we're gonna hit play let's go ahead and we'll just run a speed test all right, so even though it gives me that message, my internet speed is 237 megabits per second. So basically this recommendation that it was giving me was based off my signal strength, not my speed. So kind of funny that that happened. While on this menu, you can go to your advance and you have some more information there. So it gives you your signal strength, your noise, your channel that you're currently on, your noise to signal ratio. And I did a full video on this guys where I broke down what is a good range, what isn't, how to change channels, what it means. And I'll go ahead and link that video. From here, you can go to configure your data monitor and, and you can turn it on. And within that, you can have different options. You can set your video quality or set alert, especially if you're on limited bandwidth, you do have that option there. But you can also get reports of your data consumption. Um, so that was the first menu that uh, a lot of people probably don't know about, but really useful when troubleshooting network issues or just curious to see if you can improve your speeds. So the next one is going to be your Amazon Home Cinema is now integrated in your Fire Stick. So what this does, guys, it lets you directly connect to your compatible speakers, compatible devices in your house directly from your Fire Stick. So, so for instance, if you have an Echo Dot that's compatible, you can go ahead and connect and you should be able to play the sound from your Fire Stick through that device. So let's check it out and see what it looks like. So to get to it, of course, you're going to go to your settings. You're going to go down to where it says uh, display and sounds. Click on that. 
what I'll do is I'll flash the compatible devices where you can go ahead and quickly check to see if your device is compatible. We're gonna go ahead and click on Alexa Home Theater. And now you can see Alexa Home Theater pair compatible speakers with Fire TV for immersive sound. So let's go ahead and click on that. Create a more immersive sound experience by pairing up two speakers and an optional subwoofer to your Fire TV stick. So of course, that will give you surround sound. Click OK. And what it'll do now is it'll scan your, your network and see what compatible speakers or devices you have. You can see mine, I have the Echo Dot. This is the round, I think it's the third generation, if I'm not mistaken. You can see that's compatible. I can go ahead and click on it and go ahead and set it up. And that's that's a great addition because imagine if you want to set up just a surround sound around your house, for instance, you can put an Echo Dot outside, you can put one in your bedroom, one downstairs, and maybe you're having a party or a get together and you want music in the background. This would be a great option. So the next one is going to be uh, a little one that recently got added, guys. This is to hopefully help you uh, clear up space on your Amazon Fire TV um, or Fire TV stick. So let me show you what this looks like. So go down to your settings. You're going to go to your applications. All right, we're going to go to manage installed apps. So for me, uh, for anyone that owns a Fire device, space is always going to be an issue. You can see I only have 673 megabytes of 5.35 available. So um, just a couple more apps and maybe I'll be out of space. So what this allows you to do is view all your applications. Then you can sort it um, how you want to sort it. And if you go to sort and you go by size, all right, so what it'll do is give you the apps that's occupying the most space to least space. So you can see for some reason, local now is 210 megabytes, free V, we have 3D Mark. So those 100 megabytes, 200 megabytes application, it might not seem like a lot, but once they start adding up, before you look, you got a gig that's that's gone. So um, this will at least give you an opportunity to look at your application, see if you're using it or not, then you can go ahead and uninstall it. That way you can free up space for another application. Now we have a brand new AI feature that makes recommendations a lot better and it's very simple to access, guys. All you need to do is press the A button or the microphone button on your device and ask it, what should I watch or what can I watch? So let's give it a try. What can I watch? Here are my recommendations for what to watch. All right. So immediately <laughs> the kids got to this account and um, this is all kids recommendations. So basically it's going off whatever um, you've watched in the past, what it thinks you might like and so on and so forth. The more you use it, the more it actually um, fine tune those recommendations for you. So the next one is a way to uh, natively see your connected devices on your home network. And these are devices that essentially connected to your Amazon account that your Fire Stick is signed into. So to access this, all you need to do is hold down the microphone button and ask it to open Smart Home Dashboard. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Smart Home Dashboard. So at the top, you're going to have the different groups. You're going to have your smart home. You're going to have groups, lights, plugs, switches, as well as your cameras. And you can view all of those from your Fire Stick. And I think it's pretty cool because if you have compatible cameras, you can view it full screen. So you can see my cameras. I have my daughter's room, my son's room. I have a living room. Front door, I think that was an old one. And then I have the new front door, which is a ring. The reason the preview is showing is because I recently pulled this camera up. So let's go ahead and give it a try again. All right, so waiting for ring.com. All right, so here I am connected. You can see there's some lightning happening in the background. Um, here in Florida, uh, past three months, and this, this is what happens every season, but it rains every day, guys, every single day. Between two to five o'clock, it rains. So um, you can see we still have some lightning happening. So, so this is a just a camera I have sitting on the counter, essentially. So very dark down there, but you can kind of see, uh, see some of the highlights. If you look in the bottom right, I do have an echo show there showing the time. All right, let's back out. 
All right, so that was my quick video. Hopefully it didn't take too long. Uh, really amazing to think that a device that can cost anywhere from $17 all the way to 49 has all these features built in. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Now, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next one.